Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Rosero. I am Don Pepiot and this is Rich Walker. Hello everyone. We recently had the opportunity to go and play a bit of Steep at Ubisoft and I am absolutely in love with it. Really? Yeah, I'm going to be playing a lot of this I think come, come release. It's, uh, it's been a while since we've had a kind of extreme sports game, right? In the winter. Yeah. And um, it's just exactly what I want from that kind of thing. It's all the best oh. bits of... Uh, <laughs> it's all the best bits of um, things like... Uh, uh, the SSX games and yep. tricky in that and it's just yeah it's exactly what I wanted and, and you also, just plant it on your face you can do amazing wipeouts there's That's even good. a button to ragdoll yourself you know yeah, you yeah. hit up on the d-pad and you can just go limp and smack into things nice so I played this at E3 and Gamescom uh, earlier this year and it didn't look as pretty as it does now it yeah, looks it, like it's starting to come together like properly they were happy with this build they were saying yeah. that the ones that played before they were a little bit kind of they felt it was very restrictive and right so this I had access to basically the entire mountain and yeah, it's amazing. It's I really it looks nice. That's always yeah. a plus. Uh, it's fun. It's responsive. Once you get used to kind of how it handles, because it doesn't handle like it's, the older yeah. sex games. You don't hold X to go down and to jump. You do yeah. that with the um, with the trigger. Yeah. And then you use the triggers again to grab the front and back of your board to do tricks and such. Uh, this is the very first race I did. It's just after the tutorial because we weren't allowed to capture that. Um, so this is the very first kind <sighs> of uh, <That's> risky. <laughs> <laughs> so satisfying though, yeah. isn't it? Um, yeah, so this is the first kind of like introduction to the mountain where mountains kind of tell you stories as you go down them. It sounds a bit hammy, but it, yeah. it came off really nicely, I, I, I think. So, um, yeah. Oh, nice um, work there, man. It's some, some good stuff. Yeah, for the first time through, it's, it's yeah. intuitive, you know? It kind of makes sense. Oh, I was going to say that the control system's totally intuitive. Uh, a little hard to get to grips with, but... It's, just, it's yeah. a pretty, it's an intense learning curve. Once you got it, it's fine. Yeah. Like this bit here, they kind of, they are pushing you hard because look at all the ice you've got to get around. Yeah, jeez. The first one. But again, it's nice. It's just showing you exactly how we can navigate things and how you yeah. can do it. Um, the skis are a lot harder, I found, than the snowboard. Uh, but as, as, it is, as is life, I yeah. believe, right? That's how it kind of goes. I found myself going back to the snowboard pretty much all the time when I played it. I was like, yeah, the skis are kind of cool. I think I prefer the snowboard. Oh, you earned a trophy. Nice work. So, yeah, that was the first mission. And then after that, you get to go to kind of the more tricky areas. I've done this bit. Yeah. I know this bit, yeah, 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 yeah. This is one of the sponsored things. This is a Red Bull Ultra Natural. Yeah, I've done one of these. Uh, and again, when I saw all the branding and stuff, I thought like, oh, it's a bit crap. It's a bit yeah. weird to have adverts in your game. It comes off so totally natural, though. Exactly well, as yeah, you see I mean, on the mountain. It's a real event, isn't it? The Red Bull that. Natural. That was First awesome. Flip, yeah. You've already got a gold medal. Nice work. Yeah, I'm pretty. Uh, I'm pretty proud of this run as well. It's yeah, it should too be. Bad. No, stuff. it's in the top right there. I'm getting things like Freestyler and yeah. uh, Bone Collector. It's basically like an RPG system. It's a bit like uh, Skyrim, where yeah. I can get loads of points on Freestyler or Pro Rider or School Collector, it's called mm -hmm. Bone Collector. Right. And they all add to an overall level. Okay. Uh, so depending on how you play, that's what people are going to see you and ident identify you as in game on the mountain. Mm. But um, yeah, you can do what you like, and you're always leveling up for every little thing you do, even bailing hard oh, like that. I, I just collected a couple of G's, and those G's are going to go towards my um, some G force as well. Yeah, that's it, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I think later on, I do one at 500 G or something really? nuts. Yeah, wow. it's insane. The snow looks great as well, carving through the. The powder doesn't it line just, looks pretty. Yeah, so this is caught at 30 frames as well, and it doesn't really? impact it, does it? It's like, no. It's absolutely what you look It looks, looks lovely. I mean, yeah, that was my biggest concern. Not the sort of restrictive, any of the restrictions. It seemed like you've got free reign of the mountain. It was kind of the visual aspect. It was a little bit rough around the edges when I played it last. And I think you can still see a bit of tearing and a bit of artifact stuff, but for the most part, mm. absolutely fine. And there's the kind of draw distance and the kind of effects yeah. they've got as well. It's uh, it's all good. And so, uh, on that note, you can go onto things and as a, another customize visual Customise your riders. Customise your riders. Oh, cool. So, again, we jumped in quite early on here, so there's not an awful lot. I like my duvet there. Um, <laughs> Sleeping bag. Yeah. <laughs> with some pockets. Uh, but, yeah, there's, as you can see here, there's a lot of options for it, and mm -hmm. you get certain things for doing certain... Getting coming gold in certain races will net you, like, you know, special items. Okay. Later on, you'll see me in a, basically a big woolly costume and an axe through my head. Oh, nice. Because I did sure, certain because, challenges. Because such. why not? Yeah, exactly. I so like the Ubisoft aren't, 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 you know, afraid to kind of have fun yeah. with it. There's a deer head there. Nice. Um, yeah, I had a snowman head when I played. Amazing. Did I think you, it's a chicken head that? as well. Snowman head and there was, a, yeah, the deer head and stuff. Yeah, really cool. Little novelty hats. And so when I was playing, you know, I was on, on a kind of a land it. session and I saw yeah. people going around with a clown hat on and yeah. stuff and I'm just doing all the other stuff. <laughs> uh, so here it goes, my skis. This is my first time doing a slalom. Nice, nice furry Yeti coat you got there. Isn't it amazing? Yeah, it's brilliant. I was trying to find a furry backpack as well, but unfortunately I couldn't find one. In furry backpack, that mm. sounds rude. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why, it just does. <laughs> it helps in the snow. Yeah. Yeah, it gives you warm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so this is my first of the skis. You'll notice I'm not as adventurous as I was with my snowboarding just because yeah. uh, it's 
uh, it's harder. It's much harder, I think, to do tricks. Yeah. And to kind of get out there and uh, do more impressive things. But the point of this, anyway, was to do the race and to kind yeah. of uh, speed up, really. I think yeah. I get gold on my first go here, and these are all um, ghost captured riders I'm against right. uh, for the times. Did you so, find yourself, your skis ever drifting apart? Because... I'd find I'd end up turning around by accident and stuff like that because if you use the stick you can like turn and do backwards tricks and things. I did you have any problems with that? I did right so about halfway through this race you're going to see me drift backwards by accident. Yeah. And it's easy to I do, don't isn't I it? don't write myself for the rest of the oh, race. Really? Do you still make and I it? still win. <laughs> oh wow, well done. Wow. <laughs> but uh, it's impressive. it's again it's 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 impressive to try and learn that and the, yeah. the more you play with the skis the more easier it got especially down later on yeah. I was doing more and more of it. Um, but yeah for the time being it was it's pretty hard see you there drifting apart you yeah. say. Uh, oh yeah, there you we go. go. That's it. The <laughs> rotations. If you land in the wrong direction, it's like no. I'm, still, I'm trying to sort myself out, but I don't want to lose time, so I'll just kind of commit to it. And so what I think you do is you can press both the sticks outwards, push them both outwards, and, and you, you kind of you write yourself. Ah, okay. Yeah, but it's still fun to do this as well. And like you know, we had yeah. a good laugh at the session. <laughs> I mean, you've got some me. fair velocity going, given that you're going backwards. Yeah, right. I thought, oh no, I'm going to lose it. I was so close to winning, but nah, no, no, no. What it's, the uh, hell? It's impressive, right? Yeah. I mean, you, <laughs> are you trying to write yourself? Uh, you just kind of resigned yourself to the fact that you're backwards. <laughs> occasionally I try if I got a big enough turn, but in the end... Well, well done. You made wow. it, right? And you still got a gold medal. Yeah. I'm impressed. That's, that's not bad, is it? Nice work. So um, I will say the difficulty spike in the game is interesting. So when you first right. start playing, there's a lot of uh, simple kind of tasks. Yeah. But then you get to much difficult, more difficult areas. These um, are tough, aren't these they? These are very tough. Well, you get rewarded, don't you, for being close to the ground. Yeah, right? You, don't, you, get you more basically points. don't score if you're less, less close to yeah. the ground. Now, on the right stick, you can bump it and do things like that. Uh, so the more risky you are, see the massive amount yeah. of points I gain there. Um, I, I did actually fail this one a fair few times, but I cut those out of this edit yeah. because it's not as fun as watching a nice clean run. Very as nice. Such. Unfortunately, I think the weakest part of all of them is the paragliding. Oh, really? Uh, it's fun, but I think it's just because it's so slow. I was going to say, I imagine it's fairly slow, right? Why the rest of the game is so rapid yeah. and intense and very skill-based. This just feels like you're kind of drifting in the right direction. Yeah. And while you can do tricks, they don't really seem to do much. You kind see of an odd choice. Going crazy. I think this is for more for the kind of exploration aspect. It helps right. you get from peak to peak. Okay. You see where that kind of check that the things like kind of grayed out there, yeah. the peak, that's the, the stripes. Another drop that can unlock. Okay, hit there. So oh, that's cool. For things like that, it's, it's worthwhile. Did you do any bits with the GoPro camera? I did. Uh, it makes me feel super duper sick. <laughs> did you try it with the wingsuit? Because I tried that oh. and it was impossible God, to control no. it. I did it with the snowboard and that right. was hard enough. But okay. yeah, in the wingsuit, I can't imagine. Yeah, I tried. I just switched to it for a bit and I was like, nope. Can't do it. So for context, if you press L1 on the PlayStation yeah. or LB on the Xbox, you'll jump into like a GoPro thing. It's strapped to you just under your yeah. chin, uh, which basically gives you kind of a first-person view. Yeah. And yeah, it's nuts. It's pretty You've got head wobble and all sorts yeah. on there. So I just imagine them doing that in VR. Yeah. That right. would be crazy. Uh, it's worth noting as well, I think, that the, the, the wingsuit bits feel very much like... Far Cry 4's wingsuit bits okay. except you pulled out of a first person view yeah so yeah so that's kind of okay. remind me of that quite a lot as cool. in like physics wise and stuff so. yeah but yeah the physics engine this game's built on which of course for a winter sports game is kind of important I think is super solid yeah and everything it didn't feel I know people complained about the E3 build that there was glitchiness and things yeah not in this not at all I think okay. everything that happened felt good every impact every mm. kind of uh, <laughs> suicidal smash into a mountain yeah it all felt very good I saw some that's guys good flinging themselves into that bell over and over again that really? was, that was satisfying do, do, do they do the sort of ah sort of screaming and stuff like they did in that first trailer yes that was brilliant oh good if you hurt yourself you'll hear them say like oh not again <laughs> oh, brilliant this kind of thing, oh good so. uh, that's great but yeah and then when, once you've landed you have like, you got to walk that. around oh it's a meat cleaver in your head yeah, isn't it it's got yeah. through a back of my head <laughs> I think it's because I got like uh, top marks on a bone breaking one. Oh, right, okay. so it gives you this kind of like you know violent thing nice yeah. but good. yes this is steep this is uh, going into open beta in the next two weeks as November of the video 18th, going live right? November 18th yeah, yeah. and then it will come out in December yeah so uh, thank you very much for watching guys and we'll catch you soon don't forget to like and subscribe <laughs> I haven't fallen that hard in a while.